Hi guys, it's currently uh, half past three on Saturday the 14th of October and uh, it's gigging day today. Um, we're off to do an anniversary party tonight at Burnham on Crouch. Um, so uh, yeah, I need to get to cracking because I've got to leave here about half past five. It takes about an hour to get there. So uh, yeah, I better get moving. First things first is I've been meaning to restring my strap for quite some time. It's been uh, about four or five gigs now since it was last done. Um, so I thought I'd do that now. Um, these are the strings I use um, on my Squire Strat. The Dario XL 115s. And um, yeah, so these, I'm just going to give the guitar a quick clean up as well while I'm here. Because um, it's been long overdue. As you should be able to see there. Very, very dusty. Very dirty. And the strings are dead. So uh, yeah, they need to be changed. Okay, so this is a very quick tip that may be of some interest to some of you um, when restringing guitars with these Cluson style tuners. Um, so what I do is I go to that point where I've got the, um, the tuner and I'll go two tuners up to give me enough length to actually wind around the peg because you don't want too much. Cut the string. And then what I then do is it goes in the hole like that and then I actually kink right on that part there um, and that gives it a nice stable part to stop it coming unwind and then we just wind the string around the peg like so. Right, it's all six strings back on now, um, all nice and clean as well. So now it's time to tune up. And one piece of advice that I've also got for or anyone that's uh, interested, when you tune in the strings after just putting them on, tune them to pitch and then actually grab hold of the string around here and actually give it a real good pull. Um, and that will, as you'll see, that was tuned to E. Um, but it's now tuned to D sharp. So just by pulling the string, it's taken out that bit of difference. And if I hadn't have done that when I started playing, it would have then gone out of tune and would have sounded really bad. So uh, yeah, it's a top tip. You should only need to do it once, but I, I like to do it a couple of times just to be sure. Well, it's currently 5.30 and um, yeah, car's all loaded. I've ironed my shirt, changed my strings, bags all packed. Got my amplifier, got my pedal board, um, and now it's time to go. Burn on Crouch, here we come. Mm -hmm. Only took an hour, mm -hmm. so a yeah. little bit of traffic, but never mind. Tonight's. Yeah. Stage. And tonight's rig, we are using the Squire Simon Neal Strat, and out of that, we are going in to the Zoom G3X, and out of that, we are using the Boss Katana yet again. Um, this will be about the fourth or fifth gig of this now, and it'll be interesting to see. This is quite a big haul. Give us a wave, Lee. Hey, and this is tonight's venue for a golden wedding anniversary, and we got lights. Wow! We don't often get changing rooms like this, do we, gents? Hey, look at this. Normally we get the tail end of a toilet. Yep. I'm just going up a little bit because keeps getting changed. <laughs> you really don't. Want and to Matt's that. Matt is changed, so I can go down a bit. And there's the famous pink jacket. Come on, Matt. And the musical socks. Ta-da! And they've got more trophies in West Ham. <laughs> yeah, that's not hard though, is it? <laughs> We're so rock and roll we are. Yeah, can I have five teas, please, mate? Cheers.
too ugly. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, some bass players are one in a hundred. Some bass players are one in a thousand. We won ours in the raffle, but never mind. Keith Robinson on the bass guitar. And by the way, your jobs are horrible. Standing right at the back at four foot two tall and proud, including the stand. On drums, Mr. Lee Burley. to mention because he's so tiny he hides in the corner. On sound and lights, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian Hammond. Yeah. And our, ladies and gentlemen, our Cliff for this evening, who along with myself brings the average age of this band down by about 30 years. The man with the sandpaper voice, sorry, velvet voice, that's the one. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Jones on vocal. Well, here we are. It's now quarter to one, um, Sunday morning, and I'm very tired. Um, it's been seven hours and 15 minutes now since I left. Um, been a long, long evening, but very, very good. Fantastic audience, and uh, yeah, we had a fantastic time. So I'll see you all soon.